Hello everyone and welcome back. We know full well that this year we will be receiving at least one more DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2 and the question does beckon, what will this DLC be? Will it be quite on the same level as the Biosyn expansion or will it just be another early Cretaceous pack? Well that exact question is something I've been basically speculating on the channel for several months now and Today we continue that and that comes in the form of a potential DFW expansion for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now as always if you do go on to enjoy today's video please do consider liking and subscribing as your support is always greatly appreciated and if we can hit 30 likes on today's video then uh, that's pretty cool I guess. But yeah with that being said let's not waste any more time and uh, get into it. Now, as I said at the beginning, I've been speculating DLCs for Jurassic World Evolution 2 for several months at this point, and a consistent theme I see generally is a wish for juveniles, and generally just a wish for better quality of life for our dinosaurs. Now, especially after watching Jurassic World Dominion, it's made me realise that there is someone we can actually hold accountable for this type of DLC, and that is, of course, the DFW. Now, if you don't know the DFW, they're basically the entire people behind the premise of the main campaign for Jurassic World Evolution 2, and, you know, I feel like there's still a lot that's, you know, behind the DFW, and what their actual goal is, and this DLC would sort of sugarcoat that. Something that's missing from Jurassic World Evolution 2, or at least I think personally, and this is a place where Prehistoric Kingdom really takes toll over JW2, is the fact that, generally speaking, we can't really make our enclosures too unique or, you know, just alive. And this DLC may well be the thing that changes just that. So basically, to put this entire idea that I'm about to explain to you into perspective, we're human beings, our dinosaurs are somewhat similar, you know, they need water, they need food, we need the exact same, however, generally speaking, we need amenities, and that's probably the reason you're watching this video, to keep you entertained, and on some level, I feel like that needs to be implemented into JW2. Now, I'm by no means saying, yeah, we should go out and give Parasaurolophus an Xbox or an iPhone, I'm saying that we need more than just social interactions to keep our dinosaurs' livelihood, well, going. And I have multiple ideas on how Frontier could actually implement this sort of mechanic into Jurassic World Evolution 2. And the first of which is the introduction of the petting zoo. And I can understand that that might be somewhat difficult to actually, like, animate and generally just fit into the game. However, I did come up with an idea that could actually make it quite easy and actually, you know, offer quite a lot in terms of attractions, which is something we've also been asking for. So, if you recall, in the Return to Jurassic Park DLC in Jurassic World Evolution, we were introduced to the Pteranodonts, and more specifically, the Pteranodon aviaries. These run on a system where basically their animations were just looped, and they basically were, well, more or less animatronics following the same schedule over and over again. And my idea for a petting zoo is somewhat similar, however, it's not actually the dinosaurs that are on a loop. Instead, it's the guests. Basically, these guests are run on a loop around your zoo and are just sort of walking about it continuously. And when, for example, your Minmai comes up in close, your guests basically initiate an animation somewhat similar to when our dinosaurs have their social interactions, where it basically just, you know, strokes your dinosaur, for example. And something like that doesn't seem like all too much effort, or at least I don't think it would be. Of course, I'm not an animator. I'm sure there's many hidden details behind that. From a, But, you know, from a general perspective, it doesn't seem like it's too difficult to really implement, considering it's not, you know, too much animation. And, well, you might be asking, how does this fit into a DFW DLC and not like an attraction DLC? And the answer for that is quite simply... If you have watched Jurassic World Dominion, this isn't really a spoiler because it was shown in this still, you can basically see Ellie Sattler stroking a baby Nasutoceratops. It wouldn't even have to be like its own building, the petting zoo. It could quite literally just be, you know, perhaps a new type of fence similar to the invisible fence where your guests can reach over and literally just stroke a dinosaur if it comes close. Again, similar to what we saw in Jurassic World Dominion. And that does actually bring me on to my next point, which is juveniles. Now, I can't even think off the top of my head how many people in the community I've seen basically begging for juveniles, and this DLC has more than enough potential to introduce them. My reasoning for that is that you know, juveniles, they aren't obscure in the Jurassic World universe. They've appeared in, near enough, every single Jurassic World movie. I mean, sure, the scale that Frontier would have to go to to create an entirely new animation rig and general design rig and, you know, like a growing system for juveniles in Jurassic World Evolution 2 would not be an easy task. But considering we're, 
you know, potentially just getting one more DLC this year, it doesn't seem like it's too difficult to really implement it. And I can back that up by the fact that the sheer scale of the Dominion Bison expansion was pretty big and Frontier had like six odd months for that and considering we're only just now halfway through the year there's still so much time for Frontier to work on an entirely another deal uh, an entirely different DLC that is on the same if not bigger scale. I'm not at all saying that we have to see dinosaurs mating or animations like that there could be like a nursery building for that or you know something of the sort but I mean either way this is a Peggy 16 so it's not like it would be too mental but yeah you get the point and i'm sure that somewhere down the line it would help with the you know mother parent dinosaurs actual livelihood if they did have a baby dinosaur with them you know keeping them sane keeping them not lonely and it would just be cool to like develop your own ecosystem without having to create your own dinosaurs every five minutes when your dinosaurs can actually reproduce on their own it's not like no one's asking for juveniles either, as I mentioned earlier, so many people are still asking for juveniles and this DLC probably makes the most sense to really introduce them. And as we know, the actual campaign for Jurassic World Evolution 2 was cut short and I know that, you know, you could potentially argue that the Dominion Bison expansion uh, sort of introduced the finishing end to the main campaign, however, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right that it's ended on such short notice and if we did get this DLC but perhaps in a free update we do actually get the you know finishing line to this campaign it would introduce us to you know how to care for the juveniles and stuff like that and you know maybe even an actual section on the aquatic so you know people that need a bit more experience in the game actually get that experience and as i said earlier in terms of dinosaur welfare there perhaps might not just be juveniles but if you have watched Jurassic World Dominion they're also like sort of I don't want to call them toys, but like things that basically keep our dinosaurs livelihood at bay. And I'd show a picture, but I don't really fancy a copyright strike. But in Jurassic World Dominion, in the background of the DFW scene, there is actually a Parasaurolophus eating from, you know, one of these sort of toys. Perhaps something that we have actually seen in Prehistoric Kingdom with like the ice blocks and stuff like that. If Frontier could put their own spin on that and actually implement it into JW2, I feel like... Our enclosure would feel so much more real as opposed to just literal cages that have nothing other than a few trees, feeders, and you know, perhaps even decorations. I just feel if there was a way to make our enclosures feel more like a zoo esque kind of thing as opposed to just cages, then you know, builds would be so much easier and enclosures would just feel so much more alive. And I totally understand that perhaps I'm sort of going off the entire Jurassic theme by making our Jurassic parks feel more like zoos but you know I did see a build on reddit a few weeks ago of someone building a Manhattan Jurassic park kind of thing and you know if we did have these sort of you know, toys stuff that help with our dinosaurs well-being it would just help people that want to build something like that actually build it and put their imagination into the game if you will. But yeah generally speaking when you put this DLC into the sort of broader picture you can see that there's so much you could introduce and it's definitely a DLC that would be more of a fan service than a cash grab. And, you know, I feel like we got that particularly with the Dominion Bison expansion. And if we got something, you know, else like that in JW2, it'd just be so much better than just a random dinosaur DLC that gives us four new dinosaurs. I feel like the thing with, well, the main reason why so many people like the Bison expansion was because it actually introduced new elements and not just new dinosaurs. And... If we do get something else like that, perhaps in the form of this kind of DLC, it would just be so much better than just a dinosaur DLC. I'm literally crying out for it. But yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts on a non-dinosaur DLC as opposed to a sort of dinosaur well-being DFW DLC. But with that being said, that does just about wrap up today's video. If you aren't subscribed, please do consider it. I post four videos a week. All varying from camp cretaceous prehistoric kingdom basically anything dinosaur related i am really trying to get myself up there so your support is greatly appreciated thanks for watching and i do hope to catch you in the next one